Well, um, I'll start from um, the beginning. So um, this property was purchased by my great grandparents in 1914. He came to this country from Denmark, my great grandmother from Ireland. Um, they met in San Francisco. Uh, my great grandfather was a milkman, a dairyman. He came up to this area on business. You know, spas were, mud baths were a big thing back then. Um, I'm not entirely sure why or how they stumbled upon this property. Um, you know, they went through the big earthquake, was that 1906? Um, so maybe they were ready to get out of the city. He was a carpenter by trade. Um, he, that's how he came into the, the country. And I think he just, he came from a farming family back in Denmark. So he just wanted a more quiet, um, you know, place to raise his, his family. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know, they're the ones that planted uh, the, the orchards and um, the old dipper where we used to process the prunes. He did all the cobblestone work and mm -hmm. was just a really you know, handy, handy guy. The fact that a property like this has been in our family for over a hundred years is an incredibly cool, rare thing um, in the Napa Valley. Um, my sister went into the house that my great-grandfather uh, built. The uh, attic is, is original, so my sister, uh, when my parents were out of town, she climbed into the attic and pulled this old uh, wood trunk, and she found the original purchase contract. It confirmed that there was, in fact, vineyard on the property back then. Um, it listed everything that was included in the sale. Um, there was uh, three cows, two heifer calves, uh, two pigs, 500 white leghorn uh, hens, 250 young chickens, uh, three horses, some harnesses, a buggy, a heavy Studebaker wagon, but uh, the contract um, specified that was what was not included in the purchase was the upcoming revenue um, from the great uh, crop. And that after harvest, that contract would be transferred to the new owners. Um, so that confirmed that there was actually vineyard on the property when it was purchased um, uh, over 100 years ago. So this August um, 23rd will represent our 108 years um, here owning this property in the Napa Valley. So yeah, very cool thing. <laughs> when I was a kid, the property was primarily prune orchard. So I grew up picking prunes, which was no fun. Um, but in 1989, my dad did a major replant pulled out the prune orchards and started with planting eight acres of Merlot. Uh, following year, he planted six acres of Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, there's an old block of Petite Syrah that was planted in the 50s. My dad remembers having to dig the holes as a young boy. So we're estimating it was probably about 1956 that those vines uh, went in. Uh, um, he took the budwood from the old block planted a younger block of Petite Syrah here behind the barn. Uh, that block went in in uh, 1995. Uh, and then the youngest block is a 337 clone of Cap that was planted in 1998. So again, uh, today we're farming uh, 21 acres. So in the, the name Switchback Ridge, I named this project. Um, I, I wanted to name the project after my dad or the property itself. And ever since my dad was a little boy, um, he's been uh, a hunter. Uh, before the property was fenced to keep the deer out, he was the, you know, the the deer Calling. control. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so, again, since he was a little boy, he would hike and hunt all of the switchback trails up in Dutch Henry Canyon. And then mm. um, this property is three eight three separate parcels, one of which is a 50 acre hillside parcel. So there's a switchback road towards the back end of this property that comes up to the top that levels out. Um, so when I was trying to come up with a name for switchback, it um, came about because my sister said it. My dad hiking and hunting all of the switchback trails up in the canyon and, and here on, on the property. That's cool. Well, it's, I think we mentioned before one of the cool things about the uh, the, the 91 planting. That's when Pete Hopkins was born. 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun to have uh, some of these vineyard blocks that yeah. are like as old as our staff. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Like 30 years old. It's pretty great for Cabernet Blancs. Yeah. And today there is not a single prune tree on the property, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> No, I always joke that I never would have carried on the family of princesses. <laughs> <laughs>